How's it going there, buddies? Welcome to another spot of Three Toe Customs. I'm Three Toe Joe, your host with the most. If you don't know, well, now you know. Today, we got a good one for you. Uh, we've been driving our Razor 900 now for about a year, and we never had a winch on here. No winch came on it from the factory, so we decided we need a winch so we can go hit some freaking dirty, sloppy stuff so we can finally put these snorkels to use. <laughs> So we got a hold of Terry over at Cutter Lewis out in Lethbridge, Alberta, and he sent us over a set of the KFI winch mountain plates. Right on. So then this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and show you guys uh, how these plates mount up, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and install a nice 4,000 pound winch on this bad boy, and then we'll go test her out somewheres. Ha ha, how does that sound? Going to get stuck in muddy. Oh. Well, the intro's playing. It doesn't hurt. Take a second to go smash that subscribe and notification button. It really goes a long way for its helping build the channel, boys. Hopefully you guys took a second to smash that subscribe button. Um, so basically we're just going to start right off. We're going to get right into it. Start tearing into this machine. Uh, first steps first is we get this whole front face off here. And then we get once we get that off, we should have pretty clear access. I think this is going to be a fairly quick install. Not much to it really. So uh, yeah, I mean, grab your T40 Torx bit. Your T27. I think I have a few T27s down in here. Um, they're all T40s that hold everything together on these machines. Alright, so now that we have our whole front face removed, we're going to go ahead and just kind of mock up the plates and check out and see where they're going to bolt up and stuff like that and see how they fit. Mount. Straightforward, four bolts, large black bolts that are supplied in the kit along with the uh, large nylon walk, lock nuts. Bolt it up, four bolts. I mean, I'm sure this is going to take, what, about a minute? Minute and a half. <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and we'll get these mounted on right here. All right, so here we are. We have a winch plate. We have all our hardware. So there's one thing to note that uh, when you get this, this set up, that they give you a couple extra bolts here in the kit. And uh, if you were using a, a 1000S, if you're putting this on a 1000S, you would install these bolts and also uh, they, they give you a bunch of these washers here to make up for some space. There must be something different, obviously. But we're not gonna be needing all these for the 900S. Um, what we're going to be needing is just these four round-headed bolts with the square locks on them. Hopefully you guys can see that. And the uh, smaller nylon lock nuts, all four of them. So yeah, again, four bolts. We'll have the plate mounted up and it should take no time at all. Okay, so I believe what we're going to be aiming for are these square punch-outs here. In that part of the frame. Pretty sure that's where these are going to line up to. And if you come and you have a quick look over here, maybe it would have been smarter if we wouldn't put the winch mount plate probably first. But looks like we can still get at it. Um, there you go. You guys can see it right there. 
we're going to be aiming for those. So it looks like we can still get at the bolts either way, but it would have probably been a little bit easier if we would have done that first, I guess. I, I kind of thought of that, but I didn't really care. I wanted to put this on first because I wanted to see the look first. <laughs> line up in the air. Same goes for right here. Line right up. So four bolts, we'll be getting those in there. Not rocket appliance. I don't think you guys need me to show you how to put the four bolts in. <laughs> all right, there you go. All bolted up. As you can see, easy peasy. Uh, one thing to note is the front one's pushing that way. And the rear one's coming that way. Like I say, they got the square slot, so you don't got to worry about holding them or nothing. They hold themselves really easy to bolt up. Went in really nice. Um, only thing to mention is, is never tighten up all, any of your bolts fully until you have all your bolts in. If not, you'll get to the last one, and it won't be able to go in. Trust me. <laughs> Alright, you guys have it. That's it for the KFI winch mount plate install. Um, I know I told you guys we're going to go get muddy, but guess what? I lied. So me. <laughs> No, uh, what happened was is I had a change of heart on the 4,000 pound winch that I had. So what I did is I sold that and I put that money towards a new 4,500 pound winch uh, Super ATV Black Ops series that we have on our way from Cutter Loose. So uh, if you guys want to tune in next week, we'll install the winch and then we'll go get money. How does that sound? Ha! <laughs> then you guys will be able to see how uh, we made out with getting out of this hole that you guys are going to see here in a second. So anyways, everybody keep the shiny side up and all four on the floor and we'll catch you on the flip side. But for now... Y'all got to get out of here because I got some work to do. Mm -hmm.